He was murdered by Vladimir Putin. And he was murdered within one week of Donald Trump taking to a stage in front of his enthralled MAGA crowd and encouraging Vladimir Putin to initiate World War III by attacking NATO countries. It's Friday, February 16th. 263 days to go until America elects its next president. This is the warning. Winston Churchill said, courage is the first virtue because without courage, none of the others are possible. Alexander Navalny was a man of courage. His was a titanic life and it was given to the cause of freedom someday. He will be remembered as one of Russia's greatest heroes. He was poisoned by Vladimir Putin because he was Vladimir Putin's most potent opponent, his most vociferous critic. Alexander Navalny was living in exile. He chose to return to Russia, knowing that he would be subjected to a kangaroo court trial and face imprisonment. He was sent to one of Russia's hardest and most notorious prisons. He was filmed one day before his murder. Does the man look like he is about to drop dead? He was murdered by Vladimir Putin. And he was murdered within one week of Donald Trump taking to a stage in front of his enthralled MAGA crowd and encouraging Vladimir Putin to initiate World War III by attacking NATO countries. Donald Trump did that. And do you know what the response of Donald Trump's crowd was at his MAGA rally? The crowd chanted over and over again, F you, Joe Biden. F you, Joe Biden. Over and over and over again. During this past week, the House Intelligence Committee chair burned America's intelligence agencies when he leaked inappropriately, like Edward Snowden did, intelligence that suggested that Russia was seeking to militarize space with nuclear weapons to destroy America's technology advantages by nuking our orbiting satellite platforms that provide everything from communications to GPS services. All of these things that Russia does not have. This occurs within weeks of Tucker Carlson's propaganda interview with Vladimir Putin, where Putin defenestrates humiliates and emasculates Tucker Carlson while asserting that Russia does not regard the borders of Europe as settled. It's a preface to war. What Vladimir Putin, the KGB agent, is doing is probing, is testing, is seeing what the reaction is in the West, in America, in the news media, and in the Congress. When Vladimir Putin says he prefers Joe Biden to Donald Trump, of course, it's a head game. He's watching the currents. What Vladimir Putin has done with the murder of Alexander Novani is to slap his hand on the table and call the hands. What Vladimir Putin is saying, I can do anything with impunity. Because though the president of the United States threatened severe consequences against Russia, he's impotent. He can do nothing. What Vladimir Putin is saying, at the moment, the extremist MAGA Congress has cut off funding for Ukraine when Russia is on the offensive again, is he has upped the stakes with murder of his chief political opponent. And anybody who thinks that there is not a causal relationship between what Donald Trump said and the murder has rocks in their head. Americans have a lack of appreciation that all over the world politics 
is a deadly business. Dissent is a deadly business. Freedom of conscience is a deadly business. We take our freedoms for granted. Most Americans are oblivious to where they came from, how they were achieved, how they've been defended, and the cost of the defense. We are so lucky to live in a free society where a political belief doesn't get you murdered. And yet, the leading presidential candidate, the one who would win the election if it were held tomorrow, Donald Trump, the coronated MAGA Republican nominee, has said he's running on a platform of retribution and revenge. His advisors and aides talk openly about imprisoning their political opponents. Tucker Carlson said leadership means killing people. This is sick, and this sickness is loose in America, and it is decaying our society. It is rotting away our country. It is melting our foundations. Vladimir Putin is testing American resolve. He suspects the result of his murder will be more division, more chaos, more fighting, more American finger pointing. And Vladimir Putin wants the chaos, just as Trump wants the chaos. This move was one of provocation. Vladimir Putin is saying, get ready. Ready for what you might ask? If Vladimir Putin has his way, World War III. We live in the most dangerous hours since the Cuban Missile Crisis, the most dangerous hours since the Second World War. Why can't anybody see that? The world is moving towards a dangerous, dangerous place. It's time to wake up. And that's today's warning. Thank you for listening to my political commentary. If you like what you heard today, please also consider subscribing to The Warning, daily newsletter on Substack. Our democracy hangs in the balance. The 2024 presidential election is the most consequential in America's history. It's not hyperbole. It's a fact. That is why the mission of The Warning with Steve Schmidt is to help readers orient to the currents that are shaping our times and the unseen forces driving politics that are very rarely discussed on cable news. Please sign up at Steve Schmidt, S-T-E-V-E-S-C-H-M-I-D-T dot substack dot com. Again, Steve Schmidt dot substack dot com or at the link in the show notes section below. Thank you to each and every one of you for listening and watching.